Hi, I'm Lizzie, and today for my larder recipe, I'm going to be making my dad's soda bread. I chose this one because it reminds me of my dad. He was actually born in London, but his parents come from Tralee, which is a town in Ireland. Um, and he would visit there every summer holidays to spend the summer with his cousins and aunts. You might have heard of Tralee because of the beauty pageant named after it, the Rose of Tralee, which takes place there every year. Anyway, my dad learned how to make soda bread by visiting Ireland um, during his six week summer holidays. Then, as he tells it, he got back into making soda bread, uh, essentially to impress my mum when they were dating. And it kind of got passed down in our family history. And so it's a recipe that I ate all the time growing up too. Yeah, I pushed the camera back so you can see what I'm doing. But to make soda bread, you're only going to need four ingredients. And that is bicarbonate of soda, buttermilk, salt, which I've got in this little pot, and also flour. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start just by preheating my oven to 220. Um, and then I'm just gonna grab a bowl and I'll be right back. I think that basically everyone on the planet owns a bowl that looks pretty much identical to this one. Uh, so we're just going to begin by mixing together all of our dry ingredients. So that's our flour, our bicarbonate of soda and our salt. Okay, our dry ingredients are now in. I'm gonna take this jumper off because it seems like a bit of a liability around flour. Uh, and then we're going to add the buttermilk. So I have just mixed the wet and dry ingredients together. I made a slight mistake in that I was supposed to make a well in the flour first and then add the buttermilk, which I didn't do. Um, but we're gonna hope that that doesn't matter. Popped my soda bread on a tray and we are going to make a cross shape before we put it in the oven. Right, now I'm going to put this in for 30 minutes and cross my fingers. The is back on and we are waiting for the timer to finish. The timer just went off, uh, which means the soda bread is officially ready to take out. So let's do it together. It definitely has this flatness that's really common uh, of soda bread and it should be quite a dense crumb inside. Looking at it, I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, my dad's one, but I'm pretty pleased with the results. It's also really important that when you eat it, you eat it with loads of butter. Thank you so much for watching the video of my kind of soda bread adventure. Um, hopefully it inspires you to maybe make one yourself.